Hi, many of you would have heard that chat GPT can create code and all those things. So in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to use chat GPT and how you can pass command and can create code and all those things and also see that you know what are the some of the impacts. So let me get started. I want chat GPT to create a bar chart for this kind of data where you have three fields prod which is a categorical field, dot principal which is a numeric field and ROI which is an again numeric field and this kind of bar chart and then an overlay line chart the line chart is showing ROI and the bar is actually showing the total principal. So let's try to see that how chat GPT can create something like that. For doing that you actually go to the chat GPT this is a link and once you go to the link it will have something like that try chat GPT once you click in it will ask for login I have already logged in and here you can go and run it to make sure that you can understand what is going on I am just increasing the zooming it so that you can see what is happening and I am going to also show you command clear cut that what I am going to pass in this I will provide this uh, notepad in the description also a link as a, as a link in description so that you can just copy and paste it so i'm going to say to chat gpt that there is a sash data set tmp1 which has three fields the three these three fields of data set tmp1 tmp1 are prod which is categorical second field is dot principal which is numeric and third field is ro underscore which is also numeric now create a sas program to create vertical bar chart very much like what you are seeing vertical bar chart and put value of its field dot principal for each distinct value of field prod into vertical bar chart where bar height proportional to the value of total principal and put value of dot principal as label at the bottom of these bars so if you look at what I am asking is very much only this particular portion in the first go not the overlay overlay I'll be passing in the second go I'll pass the second go. so first thing I'm going to put something like this in the chat window of chat GPT so here is I'm going I'm just putting this chart and I'm saying continue let's see what it does so it is creating a code So look at it, it did a pretty good job. Now let me just copy this code and see that it works. So what I'm going to do, I have already opened the SAS studio, I've kept the SAS studio ready to check that it works or not. Let me just see it. I had signed it already, I don't know why it is signing again. So here I am just pasting that code. So if you look at how I did it, I went to this person, copy code and I came here and pasted this code. Let me put a run here because I want to see part by part. Let me first run this part. So it is definitely creating A, B, C and look at one thing. It provided you a code to create the data set on its own where prod is categorical dot principal is numeric and ROI one is numeric and it created that data set which is working perfectly. Now let's look at the vertical bar chart it works or not. So it is creating a vertical bar chart or not. Let's see it. So it created a vertical bar chart. However, you don't see a, let me just see that it, yeah, it is showing you A, B, C and it has put all the value, but the values were as such like 100, 200, that's why it has, it is appearing like this. What I can do here, I can in fact replace the value that is in Excel and can just see that it works or not. Let's see. I'll just put this particular value as, you know, in the code and I'll just see that it works or not. I'll just replace this tab with the space.
let me put this particular portion in SAS so it is working let's run this command so it is working you know and it is showing the value at the bottom of the chart obviously it is not looking nice but still it did the job it created the bar chart and it put the value now let's see the second portion and this is one thing you need to keep in mind chat gpt remembers what you have passed so that you can pass the second command as if like it knows the first command so this time i am going to say now overlay line chart of field roi on secondary vertical axis of vertical axis of the above chart where where x axis remains same same broad column of the data set ROI on secondary vertical axis of the web chart where x axis remains same as prod column of the data set. Now let's see what it does. It can do the job or not. So I'm going to take this here, put this again here. Let's see it can create the code or not. So let me scroll and see that it does or not so it is creating something now look at this time it has put the second y axis 2 earlier it was putting just the first axis if you recall check the here it was just y axis now it is putting y axis 2 so looks like it is trying to do something like that let me take just this portion of the code and let just see that it works or not so i'm going to go in the SAS window once again in the code window and I'm going to replace or rather put this particular piece of the code which is the overlay port portion of the code it also says that create the vertical chart with overlay line chart let me put that command also on top of this right. let's see it works or not so it has given error you know it has given error and what is the error attempting to overlay incompatible plot or chart type that's good thing i mean all said in and what you need to understand when it was simple stuff it did the job it did perfectly but it was slightly complicated actually it couldn't do the chart so let's do you know don't get disheartened we will just you know i'll just put the code which works and then i'll explain some other part which is associated with this particular thing that you know how you can manage with i have written a code which works if you, at all you are thinking that you know you are not successful with this so this code you can copy paste i'll provide this code in the the same text file when you copy and paste you you can get that it there will be a link there so here you got the chart overlay chart very much the way it was coming in excel so anyway with this tutorial you understood how to generate sas command how to pass the data command to that uh, how to pass the command to chat gpt and how to get the code and how to co copy the code also one thing you need to keep in mind whatever i am doing if you recall it is just showing at the side so it is actually you know putting all my work it's showing all my past work here it means it is recalling everything that you know what a particular id is passing now three important part one thing uh, three important part here what i uh, additional thing that i want to convey here first thing first you know what you need to understand there are some forum one of very senior person have told me that uh, whatever you are passing in chat gpt there is a particular forum where with your id everything that you are passing is available for it is open for other developers to view so ensure that on chat gpt you are not putting any sensitive information if you ask any sensitive question which is embarrassing to you if someone comes to know i mean you have to avoid that kind of situation secondly different trial will give you different result you know i have tried it uh, two three times and every time you know i got slightly different 
portion of the code or something different so you need to understand different time you can get different kind of code third thing people ask what is the impact of job so if you need to you understand this way that if you are a somewhat senior guy you know you can pass some command and it can give you the job it can give you the code what you need to understand if like you know if you just talk of the general uh, you know general search on the google what you'd have given you it would have given you some code where you would have changed the broad variable name here it is creating a data set for you it is creating that even that depend the data set the, with the name that you have passed so if you look at it's pretty intelligent it gave you those variables which you require they give you that data set which you require it also gave you the code where all the variables were very much what you had asked for so it is definitely you know like cop better than copying and pasting from google and then changing second part also you know google gives you lot of search and you have to go search here and there to figure out which has the code here in one go it gave you the code but at the same time you know if you are thinking if somebody is thinking that some business person just can pass this kind of command and uh, can write the code i don't think so you know somewhere it will not work very much the way i showed you that when we ask for overlay chart it did not work and at that time you will require someone who can actually make it work so i think you know at this stage it can probably make people make programmers more efficient faster because some of the things programmer can just pass the command and can get it but where it is not working you know obviously the programmer will have to get into so it is not going to replace programmer by general people you know someone who have never done programming come here and just give the command and get that not really but it is definitely can replace lower skilled person with the you know if there is someone who is moderately experienced you know he can pass command get something done and then on top of that he can apply himself and do the job so probably you know a think of a team like you know a, sen a senior manager and two uh, probably manager kind of guy in analytics probably that team can operate with just one manager and one senior manager and you know because the, of the efficiency the two will be sufficient to do the job of the three people so i see job cut at the junior most level because the simple thing it is able to do but at the senior level and complicated stuff you will still require people and i definitely do not think that you know it is going to replace all the programmers by the business people it will probably replace the junior skilled programmer by the you know one or two senior programmer who can probably do the job of three four guys because the chat gpt is creating a pretty good code thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it